You have an Xbox LIX and you just want to change out the SSD. Maybe one terabyte isn't enough for you. So for us, that's quite not enough either. Instead of one terabyte, why not just go four terabytes? I'm going to show you exactly how you can go ahead and upgrade that SSD. But there are a couple things that I do highly recommend you to have. If anything shown in this video, feel free to click down in the description box down below. You can have the iFixit Toolkit, which is an excellent kit. It doesn't really cost that much. It's about 80 bucks, especially if you're into fixing a lot of tech products, you can use that. If you can't get the iFixit Toolkit, that's perfectly fine. You can also get something cheap like this. I could show you exactly where to purchase it on Amazon. It's actually a very awesome tool. All you need is a zero one, a Phillips one, and all you need is a card of some sort, like a plastic card. It could be a credit card, debit card or whatever, but luckily I got a nice plastic ROG card that is certainly going to be for this case because you need something to separate the case. And obviously you're going to need a NVMe and you're probably curious exactly what size M.2 do you need? You actually just need a 2280. So a 2280 NVMe standard M.2 can certainly fit inside of the Asus ROG Ally. Without further ado, let's go ahead and install it in. From here, on the bottom, you're going to see three different screws. Now, you just have to importantly remember that three of these screws are going to be the smallest set screws. Then from the back of the device, you're just going to unscrew one, two, three, four, five, about five screws. So you're going to start off by unscrewing from the bottom and then work your way around. Now these are going to be quite a bit lengthier compared to the bottom screws as removed. Just make sure to set these on the side somewhere where they won't roll off the table, otherwise it's going to take you a long time to find them. Whip out that plastic card, now you're going to start to separate the plastic frame. Now be mindful, once the plastic frame does separate, there is going to be a small ribbon cable connected due to the RGBs. So you can choose to disconnect the ribbon cable or you can leave it connected where I kept it kind of close by because I'm lazy. And now you get a flathead and you can easily pry off the battery cable, slightly pry it up as it will easily slide up. And then as soon as that's done, we have access to the NVMe. Now get the Phillips head, remove the black screw. And as soon as the screw is completely removed, it should easily just pop out. Now re remove the thermal adhesive and put it onto your new NVMe. Now install that M.2 drive. And now you're going to go ahead and put the black Phillips head screw back in. Halfway done, and now all we have to do is pretty much reassemble the product. So all we have to do is now reconnect the battery cable, simply just push it down, and it's going to lock into place. Since we chose not to disconnect the ribbon cable, it's going to easily just fit right back to where it originally was. Now make sure to slowly and be careful, snap on the case, and then work your Phillips heads back into its original locations and as you see i kind of forgot the bottom a little bit there so i just easily snapped that back in don't forget the screws on the bottom of the chassis once the rog xbox ally x is fully reassembled make sure to plug in the power supply turn on the power button and then you're just going to constantly hit the volume down button until you get to the bios and once we're here, the storage drive is detected. From here, we're going to go to Advanced, go to Asus Cloud Recovery, and then we're going to click View Policy, Agree, Connect to your internet, and then from here, you're going to let it install. Now, don't panic if you ever run into other issues. There are always other ways to install Windows. Or in fact, maybe it's just better to install Bazite. Yes. And just let the cloud recovery do its thing. You're gonna go through about 1 million restarts before you actually get to this screen. It took forever, 
but finally we are here and it's going to be just like when you first set up your asus rog xbox ally we finally made it yes we are finally back into windows with a four terabyte drive now you have some beautiful storage inside of your asus rog ally x and you can store up to four terabytes. Isn't that insane? Take full advantage of it. It's easy enough to do. I know some of you out there are probably gonna go crazy and go eight terabytes. 